Sat7 Par serves a Farsi-speaking audience of over 110 million people across three countries. This region is subject to change by the second. Changes that bring sorrow, destroys families and homes. Changes that are not desired, but sadly tolerated. Changes that result in hopelessness. In August 2013, Hassan Rouhani assumed office as president of Iran. He promised people to improve Iran's human rights record, offer better civil rights and services, improve foreign relations, and as a result, improve the economic state of the country. Some political prisoners have been released, but the key leaders of the Green Movement, many human rights activists, writers and journalists, Christian believers and leaders are still imprisoned. And political opposition to the regime remains forbidden. Foreign ministers from six world powers are still locked in, in November, some sanctions relief was negotiated, a first step towards seeking a comprehensive solution to the nuclear crisis. But after years of being suppressed and deceived by the Islamic government, can the new president keep his promises? Hope is faint. As a supreme leader, Ayatollah Khamenei is in power and continues to control the regime. The people of Iran are still hoping for better changes to come. As social problems strangle the nation. Despite the new president, economic downturn continues. Since Riyadh's fall in September 2012, there has not been much stability in the economy of the country. Unemployment is still on the rise, and large numbers are living in poverty. A single blossom is not spring, promotes the Islamic government encouraging people to have larger families, but further discriminating women. In Iran and Afghanistan, domestic violence begins to take the shape of a systematic violence, fueled by tradition, ignited by religion, encouraged by the dominant authoritarian state, and empowered by poverty and illiteracy. Child and women trafficking continues, and the integrity of women, families, is crushed and lost. Their screams for help is muffled by social repression. Drug addiction is rampant. In January 2014, Christians in Iran celebrated the release of a few Christians that were detained in 2011. However, as some have been released, many remain behind bars. The government authorities continue to censor all communications, Christian online sources are filtered, and Farsi church services are banned. Ironically, the president of Iran sent out Christian greetings to the Christians in Iran. Just as in December 2013, many Christians were arrested and imprisoned for Christian activity and their faith in Jesus Christ. The Afghan government outlaws Christians and seeks to punish Afghan believers of Christ, the apostates who are deemed criminals. Tajik authorities maintain strict rules and censorship on religious activities and resources, intimidating and undermining the church. All the while, God is calling us to make a difference and despite borders and walls to transmit the gospel, his truth, to every Farsi speaker's home.